What's up, Drive? It's the Western Snaps of Call of Duty Zulu Warrior here to talk about the Battle for One beta. Uh, I know this beta has been out for a few week, few days now, almost a week. Uh, I played it a few times and I encountered some things in the game that I want to talk about. Uh, some issues as far as the game itself. Uh, I'm not here completely to trash or trash the game, saying it's garbage or whatnot. I'm not here to do that. Uh, just some issues that I have with the have with the game and hopefully they'll fix it before release. Uh, first off, it's a lot of lag and glitching in the game. Uh, I know it's a couple times where I spawn in without a weapon or I, for another instance, I will spawn in and I have my weapon and everything, but I can't move. I'm stuck and, it's, and I'm stuck for like 10 to 15 seconds. I can't do anything, uh, especially if I spawn in uh, around a uh, populated area where I know the enemies all around me I can't do nothing I can't shoot I can't throw grenades I can't do I can't do anything and I'm just sitting there vulnerable and of course I get shot and killed and I have to start all over again and it happened again and again and again now this didn't happen uh, for, uh, four separate occasions uh, it happened four times in one map and it lasted at least two to three minutes each uh, for the whole thing um, yeah, where I just can't do anything. I can't do anything. I just keep getting stuck and then I'll unfreeze and then I'll run for like a couple seconds and I freeze again and again, I can't shoot. I can't, I can't throw grenades. I can't do anything. That's, it was very annoying. I uh, hope and I'm glad it didn't last the whole match. It just happened during the beginning of the match. I'm not sure if it's a connectivity issue or whatnot, but hopefully they fix that, um, soon before release. Uh, second, the in-game menu uh, is very laggy. Uh, I'm constantly pushing down the D-pad. This is, this is to go to the options menu or to the scoreboard menu just to see how many people are in the game, and it's just and it's just constant lag or whatnot. And hopefully they fix that. It's a minor issue. Uh, it's not really a big thing. It never it never like um, affected my experience with the gameplay itself. But I mean, it's just a little annoying that I'm trying to just go into the options menu and I press it constantly down the D pad and it doesn't do anything. Um, I just I think that's pretty much it as far as the lag and glitch in the game. I know uh, for some some for some people, they'll see like somebody spawning in and like their bag is spinning around like a fucking helicopter around the hip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it looks very weird. It happens all, all pretty much all the time in the beta. Um, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, it's an easy fix, hopefully, and they'll fix that before the game uh, comes out as well. Uh, now I want to talk about the vehicles, now, the tanks or the behemoths or whatnot. They are very, very fucking, fucking slow. So slow. I mean, it's very, it's really slow. I mean, it's very clunky too, and it's hard to maneuver, especially on, on this map, on this terrain, because there's fucking rocks, ditches. Uh, sand dunes whatnot in this fucking map and going over a rock is like <laughs> it's just damn near impossible you gotta go over the fucking rock it's the, like i want to go straight so i can't go straight because there's a damn fucking rock there i'm not talking about like a huge rock i'm talking about this a little ass rock where you can just go over it especially with a tank and <laughs> you can't even go over the damn rock with the tank uh, yeah i don't know it's really slow very clunky uh i never like uh riding in the tanks and this on this uh beta because uh, it's just i don't know it's just really clunky and slow uh only thing i used it for was just pretty much this uh transportation just get to point a to point b uh as far as engaging in like a tank battle um yeah no, um, that's no uh, I, that's not gonna happen uh there uh, there's other tank there's other vehicles in the on the beta itself uh, they're a little bit more easier to maneuver um but it's just like the behemoth is it's really it just sucks on this map uh, but then again i mean i i mean i have fun like you know getting kills with in the tank and stuff like that it was a fun experience uh riding in the tank but as far as the other things like the like i said the maneuvering and it's very slow very clunky um i did have an issue with that um i'm not sure if they're gonna fix that with palm release but we'll see uh the horses are op as fuck in this game are very op uh, I can't tell how many times I got killed by horses more than tanks in this fucking beta. I can't tell how many times I fucking got killed by somebody on horseback. I mean, it, it, if you're not even close to the fucking horse, you still get killed. 
<laughs> and so uh, yeah it's the horses are really op in this game they're like fucking tanks they're worse than tanks actually i mean i i, I got like i said i got killed by horses more than tanks uh the horses are very very op in this game and it's so hard to kill the guy on horseback as I mean, you could dump a whole clip in this dude he won't go down and the next thing you know you're fucking out you get ran over by the horse or you get shot by the rifle by the horseman or or you just get a fucking knife down you know cut in half by a damn saber saber and there's nothing really you can really do about it even though you put like a whole clip in them especially in the horse because the horse soaks up a lot of fucking bullets which is weird especially from a, a light machine gun <laughs> So yeah, I hope the horses are very OP in this game. I hope they turn tone it tone it down a little bit. Tone down the horses a little bit, man. I could take out a tank easier than a horse. That doesn't make any sense. So hopefully they'll fix that. Uh, that's pretty much all, all I got. Now the map itself, Santa Desert, is a great looking map. I mean, don't remember, it's a great looking map. But I will not play this map on on Rush. No way I will play this map on Rush. Uh, only because it's just too many vantage points for snipers especially when you're going for an objective they could just snipe you from anywhere you don't know where they and especially if you're in the uh little ridge part of the mountain i can't really describe it but they just sit up top right there and just wait for you and just fucking just snipe you you don't know where it came from or whatnot it, they can hide it's just too much terrain for them to hide and you know the snipers run king in this map i would not play this map on rush at all uh, this because it's just very difficult to go for the objective um, now for conquest it's a great map for conquest uh, still a lot of issues with the snipers but it's not as bad as in rush but conquest is a great map i'm sorry conquest uh for shana desert is great to play on um, that that's pretty much it that's pretty much, pretty much all i got for the map itself uh, the weapons are great uh, the mp trench gun uh, it's a great weapon, close range, uh, medium range, not so much, uh, especially when you're engaging the enemy because it has a lot of recoil, uh, especially medium range, and it's a submachine gun, so I shouldn't have a problem like you know killing the enemy, uh, medium range. Uh, it's because of the recoil with the gun. I think it has a little, 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 little too much recoil. Um, none. That, none that it will like be not playing with the gun. The guns are very fun to use, uh, but I, I like it has so much recoil, medium range. It's just impossible to kill the enemy. Um, that, but that's pretty much it. The trench gun is a great gun to use. I was using that gun most of the time in the beta. Uh, the medic class, the semi semi-automatic rifles are great. Uh, the only thing is you gotta be very accurate with these guns because they're semi-automatic. And and that's a I, I want to um, talk about something else like. The head detection in this game I, I don't know what it is I, if it's a connectivity issue or whatnot but the enemies soak up a lot of bullets sometimes in this game it'll take if you're very accurate it takes like almost a whole clip to take out take out one enemy uh by the time you run out of the clip the guy turns around kills you with two shots and you're, you're just dead and <laughs> fucking very annoying uh hopefully they'll work on the head detection in this game before release uh, but that's pretty much all I got uh, as far as the weapons. I didn't really test out a lot of weapons. I did test out the light machine guns. Um, they have a lot of recoil, but I mean, it's a light machine gun. Of course, they have a lot, has some uh, like a moderate recoil. But uh, but all the guns are great in the game. The Automatico is a great gun, but the fucking iron sights suck on it. Uh, I, I, I don't think I'll be using that uh, that gun as, unless it has like a sight with it. Uh, but other than that, um, most of the guns in the game are very good. Uh, I, did, I did enjoy using the using the guns in the game. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, my overall experience with the game. That's a great game. Uh, I can't wait for it till it comes out on October. Um, hopefully, they fix all the issues within the game. Uh, hopefully soon. I hope I don't get the game and it's the same issues I had with the beta. But that's pretty much all I got, guys. Alright guys, you guys stay safe, keep gaming, and peace out.